Hey, JT. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us today. Uh, good to see you. Um, obviously, coming off a couple <clears throat> uh, difficult losses here, but this team has been really good at home, and you're facing a team that's ahead of you in the table in FC Dallas. So, you know, given this run of schedule where you're facing some of the best teams in the Western Conference, how do you how do you feel uh, that the team, you know, stacks up right now to, to FC Dallas? What do you think they're good at? What do you think you need to watch out for? And how do you keep the defense organized uh, to be able to get out with the, with, the, with the win against them? Thank you. Yeah, good question. Um, I think the last two games have been obviously not to the standard that we want, especially the Galaxy game. I thought we didn't compete as a team, um, I think, up to our level. I think LAFC is always going to be a tough game away, and I think we were for large stretches of that game, um, really quite good. Looking at Dallas, they're a really good team. They're a team that's pretty similar um, style and has similar qualities to us. Um, they're obviously a, a place above us in the standing, so it's a, it's a really big match. But I think being at home and being in front of our fans always gives us a really big boost um, to perform well and to you know, get back to the standard where we want to be. Thanks, JT. Uh, Kevin Guillen, do, do you have to have a question? Hey, JT, hope you're doing OK. Um, can you try to describe the difference uh, or like try to put your thumb on you know why it's so different um, home versus away? Yeah, I mean, I, it's a tough question. Um, I don't think there's, we don't prepare any differently when we go on the road versus when we play at home. Um, I think Lucci and the entire coaching staff does a really good job of being consistent uh, week in, week out, always making sure that we know our game plan, we're prepared. Um, we do a lot of scouting. We kind of have a have a solid idea of what to come. I think there's a few bounces throughout this year that you know maybe they go differently, and uh, we're we're getting a win on the road, or you know, I think picking up a few more points. But I don't know. I think playing at home obviously is is a big boost playing in front of your fans. It's um, I was looking at something recently that talked about how MLS is one of the hardest places to get a win on the road, uh, leagues around the world. So I think it's, it's something that we all know going into each game, but I wouldn't say we prepare any differently or you know, we're any more focused at home or less focused on the road. I think it's um, you know, just, just going to every match trying to, to win and compete and do our best. I believe we have some members here from Dallas. Uh, do you guys have, have a question for JT by chance? Uh, just let me know or go ahead and hop on and, and ask your question if so. Just for Lucci. Thank you, though. Perfect. Thank you, Garrett. Um, let's go ahead and take a second from Jamin Moore again. Go ahead, Jamin. Hey, JT, take me back to the uh, the penalty against LAFC. I, I know we're looking ahead to FC Dallas, but, but just walk, it, walk us through a little bit the mind of the goalkeeper. Obviously, you know it's probably going to be close to the last kick of the game. Uh, you know, it's a little bit of a, uh, you know, kind of a dumb dumb handball, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, either side could benefit from such a situation. Um, with those fans behind you, you know, the 3252 is not going to make it easy on you for sure. You know, how much of that is a distraction versus being able to kind of focus on what's in front of you and in that kind of situation? And, and how are you trying to read it, you know, uh, you know, in those particular situations, knowing that a point's on the line there? Yeah, I mean, I think as a goalkeeper, you always envision your head kind of coming up with that really big save and keeping us in that match. Um, I think regarding the fans or that atmosphere, it's amazing what kind of competitive spirit and focus can do. Um, I don't really think too much about, obviously you hear them or you hear the noise, you hear the chants, but I think in that moment, I'm so so hyper-focused in, in that specific moment. Um, it's really me against Vela, and I wish I would have waited a half second more and maybe I would have went to my left. I was um, kind of thinking in my head before, like he's the last few he's closed his hips, but um, it is what it is. I think, you know, I, in my head, I'm trying to try to envision making that save or coming up with the with the big stop to keep us in it. But I'm um, kind of moving on, and you can't can't worry too much about that uh, at the end of the day. And one final question from Kevin Guillen. 
Hey, JT, um, you know, you guys obviously brought in a slew of guys in the back line, um, and you've gotten a good run of games, you know, with Jonathan and Rodriguez um, and Paul and, you know, um, Carlos in front of you. Can you talk about uh, what you're seeing playing behind them? And, uh, yeah, how would you evaluate their run so far? Yeah, I mean, I think it's amazing how all four, five, six of the guys um, in the back line who've played this year kind of bring out the best in one another. Um, I would say the partnership between Jonah and Rodri has been uh, excellent. I think they've been, you know, some of the best center backs in the league this year. And it's just their, their willingness to learn from one another, their willingness to play with one another. Um, I think collectively as a back line, as a team, our, our understanding of Lucci's system and the, what the coaches want out of us, um, I think it's, it's a collective effort. I've said this from kind of preseason on. It's not just the back line. It's not just the goalkeeper. It's... It's the collective unit, it's the entire, you know, 11 guys uh, working on the same page, kind of performing tasks together um, in unison, which, which makes the back line's life a lot easier. Um, it's, it's easy to kind of highlight the performances of some people and of the back line, but also the midfields in front of them make their jobs a lot easier. Um, I think the work of Gresso, the work of Jackson, the work of Miro kind of pressing forward and you know being more an advanced role is is the reason why or one of the reasons why I think our back line has excelled and has been so much better than years past um, it's just that collective spirit and that collective uh, mentality to defend to defend our box and defend our goal thank you all for the question